Well, it's another beautiful day in Palm Springs, and one of my subscribers, Kissy Cat, left a comment suggesting that I visit Dean Martin's former Palm Springs home. So that's where I'm headed on my walk this morning. You may remember that Scott from Toronto was here about a year ago, and we were here up in the old Las Palmas neighborhood checking out Dean Martin's former home here. And it definitely seemed to be vacant at the time, and it looked like it had just been sitting empty for years. And so, since I'm here in the neighborhood, I thought I would just walk over here and see if any progress has been made, if anything's changed since the last time I was here. I've come by for the last year or two, and it's been in the same condition, so I'm not expecting it to be in any different condition than it was, but you never know. I haven't driven by in a while, so it'll be interesting to see. And after I'm finished with my walk here in this neighborhood, I may drive over to the LGBTQ plus community of apartments that are being built in downtown Palm Springs. I did drive by the other day, but I didn't have time to stop and it looked like quite a bit of progress was being made. So I thought you might like to see that as well. I'd like to stop and get a closer look myself. So I'll probably drive by there after I finish my walk here. Look at all these privacy hedges. It's kind of funny. This entire neighborhood is mostly made up of homes with hedges around them like this. This home on the corner with the hedge is actor Peter Lawford's former Palm Springs home. And then Dean Martin's home is just down the street. It looks like there might be a chain link fence in front. Maybe they are finally getting ready to fix it up. That would be nice. So let's walk down there and then I'll come back and if I have time, I'm gonna walk up the street there to see Elvis's home. I know that was a, under construction or renovation and I wanted to take a closer look at that too. The last time I was here at Peter Lawford's home, there was a plaque or information about it being his home, but it looks like it's, I don't know, someone stole it or it fell off or just deteriorated, I don't know. That's too bad. Maybe they'll put a new one up. Well, sure enough, they're finally fixing it up. Gosh, after all these years. Of course, now you can't walk up to the front door and you can't see anything anymore, but, It'll be so interesting to see what it finally looks like when they're done. Nice. So happy to see this. Long overdue. Let's get a little closer and see if there's anything that we can see right here through the gates. See if they started any of the renovation yet. No, it pretty much looks the same as it did the last time I was here. All right, well, I'll check back periodically and see what progress is being made, if any. Maybe they've just put the fence up so looky lose like me won't keep coming by. In case you missed the video last year when Scott and I were here, let me pan around so you can see what the rest of the street looks like. And you can see what it looks like across the street. And thank you Kissy Cat for suggesting that I come back and check on the progress here today. I hadn't heard that a remodel had already been started. I'm going to head back to my car now and take a little bit of a detour up to Elvis's home, former Palm Springs home, and see what's going on there. I know they had a construction fence like this around his former home as well for a while, and I don't know if it's still there or not. So let's go take a look. Now this neighborhood changes names from Old Las Palmas to Vista Las Palmas. Wow, I'm so glad that I stopped by here this morning. Look at this, this is a dramatic makeover of Elvis's former Palm Springs home. I don't think this home has ever been renovated since, since he lived here back in the 1960s. Look at this. Now this is where the, right up here, this is where the tennis court was located. I don't know if it's still there or not. And you may remember this has always been a pink house now white. I don't know if that's just a primer and they'll paint it pink again or if they're completely changing the iconic color. I sure hope they're not changing it. But I guess we'll see in time. I'll come back once it's completed. Let's go up here a little bit closer. I've never, I've never been able to see anything up here before. I don't know if they've taken out the tennis courts. Maybe they're going to build another home here. This really is a pretty dramatic change. Yeah, it 
looks like the tennis court is no longer there, unless I'm just not seeing it. And they've put up a fence here. So I have a feeling they may be building another home on this property. Maybe they divided up the lot so they could add another home here and then also the home behind Elvis's former home. So three homes instead of just one. So this whole looks the same here so far, except for changing the colors. It's definitely surprising to see Elvis's former home on a construction like that's being renovated and no longer pink. Can't even imagine this home being any other color. You can see this neighborhood was established in 1958. And it's just so odd, so weird to see this home and for it not to be pink. It's been pink since, since it was first built in the 1960s. It's kind of shocking to see this change so much, but that's progress for you, right? It's 90 degrees now and I've been walking around for the last two hours. But before heading home, I wanted to stop here at Living Out and just see how much progress they've made. As I said, the other day I was driving by and I could see the construction. And it looked like quite a bit of progress had been made since the last time I was here, just two or three months ago. So I wanted to come and walk by, get a little bit closer look at what these apartments look like here. They seem to be really spread out, but I guess as you can see from the sign here, they have to leave room for parking and the entry to the development. And then I'm sure there's a pool or maybe multiple pools, maybe even tennis courts. But it's pretty neat to see just how much construction has taken place. I wonder if they'll have rooftop decks. I sure hope so. Not that I'm planning to live here or anything, but I just think every home and every apartment building should have a rooftop deck, especially when you have views like this. Or ocean views or wherever you happen to live that has a nice view. I'm definitely very curious to see what they look like when they're completed. And I'm sure even Jim will come with me. We both love looking at homes. We haven't done that in a long time, but if they have an open house, once they're open, we'll definitely come and take a look and see what the prices are, see what they look like, and we'll share that with you. But I'll come back again. Like I say, I walk around Palm Springs, lots of different neighborhoods, just to explore and see different things. So I'm not just walking in the same, in my neighborhood, looking at the exact same thing every day. It's fun to see what's going on. And in this case, it's fun to see the progress. So I'll be back in a couple of months, I'm sure. And I'll just keep coming back until they're finished. I'm curious, have any of you contacted the builder? Are any of you planning to live here? I, I think I have received comments from at least a few of you saying that you would love to live in a community like this. I don't know if it's in your price range or not, and I don't know if they even have prices yet, but as it gets closer, I'm sure we'll know more and share your uh, thoughts in the comments with us. I don't know if you can tell, but I've definitely worked up a sweat on this walk this morning, and it doesn't help that it's 90 degrees now. Even though it's still early, it's only, I think, eight o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but it's time for me to head home and jump in the pool. So thanks for coming along with me and keeping me company on my walk today. And I hope to see you next time.